half of all our children will be autistic by 2025? What the f***? It's time for the new edition of WTF. What the f***? What the f***? Today, we are calling out agrochemical giant Monsanto on claims it's causing neurological damage in consumers. Let's go to my vigilant producer, Brigida, in the command center to find out what the f***'s up with Monsanto. Brigida, WTF, half of America's kids in the future are gonna be autistic? Can this be real? Let's find out. Controversial study states that half of all children will be autistic by the year 2025, half. According to a paper co-authored by senior MIT scientist Dr. Stephanie Seneff, an herbicide used by Monsanto known as Roundup is causing increased rates of autism and other neurological disorders. According to the paper, many neurological diseases including autism, depression, dementia, anxiety disorder, and Parkinson's disease are associated with pineal gland dysfunction caused by environmental toxins like glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup. Many studies have linked brain functionality to intestinal flora, which is the premise Seneff's paper expands upon. The study claims Roundup causes neurological damage by harming gut bacteria. Roundup, first introduced in the 1970s, is now regularly used with crops, most notably in wheat and genetically modified soy and corn plants. These ingredients are in virtually everything from soft drinks and bread to alternative dairy products. Governor, do you think Seneff's claims are accurate? Will half of all children really be autistic by 2025? That seems extreme. Well, it does, Brigida, but what I'd like to know, and I don't know if anyone knows this, what's the percentage right now? One in 68 children. One in 68. That is dramatically huge. And I guess you'd have to equate that then with, is there that much more Roundup that's going to be used? Will they be mathematically equal? As more Roundup is used, is there more of this happening? I've always had kind of arguments with my wife trying to figure out what's wrong with kids today when they got all these emotional things that they've named. And she always has told me, well, it's because they were there before, but we just didn't know it. I don't recall this level of psychiatric trouble with children like we have today. So there has to be some root cause to it. There has to be something different going on out there. And if Roundup was started in the 70s and has been getting progressively worse and worse and worse, and now it's get, the kids are getting these problems progressively worse and worse and worse. So I think a credible person has to at least give it its due and say, we need some more testing and we need it done quickly. All right, well, Senef got her data on glyphosate use in corn and soy crops from the Department of Agriculture and correlated it with CDC data on neurological disorders and autism. Science skeptics and Monsanto have criticized the study's findings. Skeptics say Senef is making a correlation causation error, claiming the increased use of glyphosate and increased incidence of autism may be observed but may not in fact be directly related. Monsanto conducted its own studies, resulting in the following conclusions. According to Monsanto, Roundup herbicides like glyphosate have a very low acute toxicity, meaning very high exposure is required to cause an adverse effect. The company also claims that the Roundup herbicide does not pose a health risk to humans under present and expected conditions of use, and that Roundup is placed in the EPA's least toxic category for acute oral, dermal, and inhalation exposure, stating thus Roundup is considered to be practically non-toxic. Governor, whose side are you on? Dr. Seneff's or Monsanto's? Or do you think the truth lies somewhere in between? Well, I tend to side against Monsanto. What was their final quote? Practically non-toxic. How about completely non-toxic? If it is toxic, why are we putting anything toxic in there? Not practically, anything. It's gonna get into the water supply. Rain's gonna come. It's gonna get into everything. What do they need to put that in it for? Is that the ingredient? that makes it work? Well, if it's any toxic, I disagree with it. Monsanto is also legally challenging Vermont's most recent GMO labeling laws under the First Amendment, claiming that the law forces the company to speak against its will by forcing it to disclose information about what's in Monsanto products. This comes following the Citizens United ruling that gave corporations the same rights as people. Monsanto claims Vermont is violating its corporate constitutional rights. 
In a case like this, where the Supreme Court has set a precedent for corporate personhood, do you think Monsanto will be granted the same? What does this mean for public health? A disaster. You got to be kidding me. They don't have to tell us what's in what they give us. What about our rights as people and consumers to know what they're putting in it so that we can make educated choices about what we want to consume? Obviously, if they tell us what's in it, we might not consume it and they might not make money. Always remember, a corporation has no conscience. A corporation is strictly to make money. Money is the only thing that drives a corporation. And unfortunately, our Supreme Court says they're equal to people. Well, guess what? Money also drives certain people. Money is the overriding thing to certain people. They have no conscience. They're called sociopaths. And guess what I found out from a doctor? A sociopath can't be cured. That's it for this edition of WTF. What do you think, vigilant viewers? Is Monsanto causing autism? Sound off at the websites below and remember, stay vigilant and yes, they should have to label everything they put in that product. <laughs>